friends. Are you ready to make slide tooth paper bag and some glue sticks or liquid glue and a paintbrush that we sometimes used to use at school and some color crayons or markers. Now, I actually made mine at home and I forgot to bring it. So you can see I used some green and when I cut out my crocodile, I cut around the teeth so that when I glued the snout down, the teeth could bend down. And this is hard cardstock paper, so the teeth can feel kind of jaw, um, kind of sharp. So we have the upper jaw and the lower jaw. And so when you cut this out or you have someone help you, make sure to cut the teeth out like this. Don't cut them off. So your crocodile can have teeth. It's very important to have sharp teeth. That's how crocodiles eat their meat. And they tend to not chew into little pieces. They tend to eat um, their food whole. Now, I used green, but if you remember the, the crocodile, this artist did a mosaic. So you could actually cut out some small little pieces of brown and yellow and orange and make more of a mosaic, which is when you use lots and lots of small pieces of colors and put it together and make it become like almost like a collage. But this is a mosaic style. So you can do that or you can just color your crocodile like teacher Shelley did. So then once you have your crocodile upper jaw glued here and lower jaw glued here, you can put your hand in and you can have your crocodile give that big word snap when his friends come along. Now let's look at his friends. I made some copies from the book. We have the first one, kangaroo, and you can cut along the dotted lines and staple or tape a popsicle stick to the kangaroo. Okay, and we have Twisker, who is a hopping mouse, also called a bush mouse. And that's twis Twisker. And you remember Twisker, Twisker's game, hide and squeak? And then Slider the reptile, that's a green tree snake. It actually likes to eat frogs and small lizards. And do you remember um, Slider's game? Lots of knots. And then Flatso, <laughs> Flatso is a platypus. It's kind of interesting, he has a beak. Um, he's kind of a mix of um, a few different animals types, but Flatso is considered a mammal and um, he likes to eat shellfish and worms. And Flatso actually has a webbed feet and a beak like a duck, but it's a mammal. So. It's kind of confusing, guys, but you'll only find those in Australia. And then Prickler is um, kind of like in the family of um, porcupine, but it's echidna, and echidna starts with an E, and it's a mammal, and eats termites and ants. And do you remember um, Prickler's game that was so funny? Was it um, Pick Up the Quills? Wasn't that was a funny one? And here is Sly Tooth, but you can use your puppet for Sly Tooth. So you can retell the story and have those animals play their games and then see what happens when Sly Tooth says, do you want to play my game? Do you know the name of it? <gasps> Snap! And then maybe those animals can tickle his tonsils, which are in the back of your throat, way in the back. Ah, it's hard to see, but your tonsils are kind of hanging down in the back of your tongue. Oh, I just remembered, I think I had my tonsils taken out. But I think it was um, Joey that thought of Tickle the Tonsils game. So they tickled the tonsils of the crocodile in the back of his throat, and that made him laugh so hard that he opened his mouth. And all of those animals from Australia were able to escape. So they learned their lesson, not like the uh, lady on the crocodile going down the Nile. There's my lady. Okay, she wasn't so smart riding the back of the crocodile and petting the crocodile, was she? No. Okay, 
So that's a fun activity for you. Or maybe you want to draw your own crocodile. I think I have a crocodile picture too for you guys that was in your package. Oh, yeah, I have a crocodile. And if you want to watercolor or color that or look at it to use as a reference to draw your own. I think um, one way that when I draw rock crocodile I start kind of like I was doing the um, the whales where I have the sideways triangle if you want to make its mouth open and then if you want to make an alligator or a crocodile doesn't matter um, then we go all the way down and then we can make a tail and come all the way back and then our reptiles all reptiles except for snakes have four legs right so we can go one two three four and kind of a bump for eye and then the crocodile or the alligator have sharp teeth on the top and the bottom okay so you can draw your own and they have scales and funny thing about crocodiles too and alligators is they like to put stones in their their body they eat the stones and they settle down in their tummy down here and it helps them weight uh, go down when they're in the water helps them sink so um, give, you can give it a try I'm uh, I'm kind of a beginning drawer and sometimes I just like to start with shapes so starting with a, a sideways angle um, can be maybe a start Alrighty, my friends, I'll be looking forward to seeing your work tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do lowercase s. So have a great day. I hope you like this story. Practice drawing some, some crocodiles or alligators. And please know that all of your Sunbeam teachers wish so much that we could see you in person. But this is the second best thing is that we can see you in Zoom or in videos. So um, save your work because we have show your work day on Thursday and Friday. All right, guys. Je t'aime. I love you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.